Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the new series of detailing the structure. In this video, I'm going to tell you about what is detailing of a structure. Okay, we are going to study uh, what is the basic concept behind the detailing stru structure, why and civil engineer must have to learn CSI detailing and uh, uh, we'll see how we can detail the RCC structure in this uh, specific video. Okay, so according to the u.s president that is herbert hoover who was an engineer before he came into the profession of politician he said the great liability of an engineer compared to the man of other profession is that his works are out in the open where all can see them if you are a civil engineer your work will be out there to the public they can easily see it okay if you are an electrical engineer your drawings if you are a mechanical engineer your all the pistons design all your shop designs are there out in the open people can see them they can distinguish between all these things okay his acts step by step are in hard substance he cannot bury his mistakes in the grave like the doctors okay if a doctor made a mistake the patient die and we need to dig a grave for him but like for engineers we can't do that okay he cannot argue them into the thin air or blame the judges like the lawyers okay he cannot like the architect cover his figures with trees and vines okay he cannot like the politicians screen his shortcomings by blaming his opponent and hope the people will forget okay so the engineer engineer simply cannot deny what he did if he has done some mistake he must have to uh, he cannot blame on anyone else yeah. if his work do not work he is done okay so a design engineer's responsibility should include assuring the structural safety of the design details and checking shop drawings okay so all the design details and checkings must have to be correctly done now what is detailing detailing is an important as design since proper detailing of engineering design is an essential link in the planning of engineering processes okay so whatever the engineering process we are going to do we must have to do the detailing okay so uh, we can say there are many examples explained uh, in the book uh, that is uh, design and construction failure by do okay you can uh, go and see this book detailing is very important not only for the proper execution of the structure but also for the safety of structure let's say if you have made a beam and you have uh, signify that uh, it is having a uh, 12 bars of let's say 20 mm diameter but at the side because of some mistake the lever or the contractor did not didn't read that drawing properly or the drawing was not properly issued by you and they issued uh, eight bars instead of 12 bars then it will cause the problem the safety of structure will be on the risk okay so detailing is necessary not only for the stage structure but also for the rcc member obviously uh, as it is translation of all the mathematical expression and the equation results the detailing is going to be very important for rcc member the most commonly used for buildings we are going to use so we are having slab with and without openings and the balcony slab the loft slab corner of slabs beam with or without openings shallow and deep beams columns we are having rectangular rlt circular octagonal for foundation detailing for gravity load is different from lateral loads especially for the seismic forces if we include the seismic forces the detailing will be totally different okay so the concept can be different there apart from detailing for the above there is a different detailing required for the rehabilitation and strengthening of damaged structure if a structure is quite old and you want to rehabilitate it, then the detailing will be quite totally different for it. Okay. Now the process, the steps that we usually uh, follow that uh, first we prepare drawings properly. Sorry, the slide is not uh, correctly shown in showing here. You just need to see the first step. Prepare drawings properly, accurately if possible. Label each bar and show its shape for clarity. Okay. Then prepare the bar bending schedule. Then indicate the proper cover. Decide detailed location of opening, hall, and supply adequate details. Use commonly available sizes of bar and spirals. Okay. For a single structural member, the number of different size of bar shall be kept minimum. The sixth one is the grade of steel shall be created, uh, shall be stated clearly. Okay. These are the points to keep in mind while detailing. Okay. The form bar need to have a hook set there and okay. Showing a lot detail at the corner intersection of walls, beams, and column joint is necessary. Congestion of bar should be avoided. In the case of bundle bar, lap splice of bundle bars shall be made. Okay, the splicing must have to be done. And it must have to be uh, noted in the drawing that what uh, how much uh, length of the splicing is there and all that. 
you can make sure that the hooked and the bundle bars can be placed at adequate concrete protection okay indicate all the expansion construction and contraction joint the location of construction joint shall be at the point of minimum shear approximately at the mid or the near point so these are the detailing points that you need to see i will share this uh, powerpoint presentation in the link of uh, in the description of this video you can download it also from me for now you can just uh, hear to me okay now we'll go on the foundation how uh, detailing of foundation is done there is a uh, rough picture in front of you of an um, foundation it is showing the bars the starter bars the column bars okay the kicker bars and the labeling and the specified uses okay this is an another diagram on the left it is saying uh, the incorrect diagram and on the right it is saying the correct bar the left is incorrect because it doesn't show any of the details from the drawing it doesn't say which is the main bar which is the uh, what is the cover you can say okay what is the minimum lap length it is showing nothing but on the right it is showing everything that is the fringe side cover is there cover to starter is there column bars are at the topmost where we have the cover of 50 mm okay so this is how the detailing is done now upcoming slides will have all the photos compromising of incorrect and correct photos we can figure out what is the correct way of detailing this is a hammer foundation block in which the detailing is not done in the upper diagram in the lower diagram the total lap length is uh, sorry the total development length is signified so it is quite good in this then we have the parameters for it for foundation that the minimum thickness must should shall not be less than 50 okay then uh, if uh, however the concrete is in direct contact with the soil for example when a leveling course of a lean concrete is not used at the bottom of the footing it is usually to specify a cover of 75 mm okay on an average you can take 60 mm cover for the foundations okay in case of raft we are resting directly on soil or on a lean concrete the cover for the reinforcement shall not be less than 75 mm for the raft foundation okay i hope all you know what is a raft foundation the cover of concrete overall the reinforcement including the tie should not be less than 40 mm for piles okay the piles foundation the minimum reinforcement for slab and footing in either direction shall not be less than 0.1% of the gross sectional area for mild steel and 0.12% for the high strand deformed bar. These are the points that you must have to keep in your mind before detailing any structure. And the minimum area of tension reinforcement for beam in footing shall be as per the provision applicable to the beams. Same as that. Yeah? The diameter of main reinforcing bar should not be less than 10 mm. Extended vertical reinforcement or dowels of at least 0.5% of the cross sectional area of the supported column or the pedestal with a minimum of 4 bar of 12 mm diameter should be provided. So a minimum bar of 4 bar and 12 mm at the corner of the vertical reinforcement that is column you can say must have to be provided. Now where devils are not used their diameter shall not exceed the diameter of column bar by more than 3 mm. Now to achieve economy there is uh, some kind of uh, points there is the thickness of the edges shall not be less than 50 cm for footing on soil nor less than 30 cm about top of piles in case of footing or piles. Where top reinforcement is required, provide chairs and edge U bars. Okay, the diameter of chair should not be less than 12 mm. Okay, I hope you know what is what are chairs and what are the supporting bars. Now this is column. This is the detailing of a column. What how we are going to detail a column? There is an incorrect on the left top, and there is a correct diagram on the bottom right. You can see the bottom right portion is showing all the stirrups. Okay, it is showing the uh, distance of the stirrups okay so detailing is done detailing must have to be done in each manner okay in this slide there is an incorrect portion on the left and the right portion on the uh, right hand side it is showing the closed ties the spacing and the slope of that bar okay there's an another slide in this again you can see on the right we are having the correct distances this is a junction okay where a beam and a column are getting joint so the diagram is showing all the necessary things at this moment that is the slope at which the bars need to be bent to go from the higher sectional area to the lower sectional area okay this is also a junction junction diagram the bar, bar bending is shown here with the development length these are you can say the detailing um, uh, plans of the uh, columns First, we are having 35 by 25 centimeter. It is having 8, 5, 12. At 5, 12 means 8 bars of 12 mm dia. Okay. 8, 5, 12 means 8 bar of 12 mm dia. It can be anything. Like uh, in the fourth drawing, it is saying 10, 
phi 12 that is 10 bar of 12 mm diameter you can count the bars when the diagram you will get to know it is 10 bar and these are of 12 mm diameter so whenever you are going to do detailing you must have to uh, write like this that is the 10 bars of 12 mm or 8 bars of 12 mm diameter 4 bar of 12 mm diameter yeah okay. these are also some other detailings that need to be done at the finalizing of drawing uh, these are some factors that you have learned in your rcc subject in your uh, probably in bachelor degree what is saying it is saying the cross sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement in column should not be less than 0.8% and not more than 6% of the cross sectional area minimum number for a rectangular column must have to be 4 and 6 for circular and the bar size shall not be less than bar mm diameter in any case okay uh, rc column having helical reinforcement at least 6 bars of longitudinal reinforcement are needed in helical reinforcement adequate distances between the inner circumference must have to be provided spacing of longitudinal bar measured along the periphery of the column shall not exceed 300 mm okay these are all according to as 456 you can check out from there also keep outer uh, dimension of column constant as far as possible for reuse of foam works okay preferably use of two grade of vertical bars in the same element we can use two grades of uh, bar bars larger than 36 mm dia shall not be bundled we can't bundle the bars greater than 36 mm dia lap splices shall not be used for bars larger than 36 mm except where welded where doubles are provided the diameter shall not exceed the diameter of the column by more than 3 mm uh, when bent up bars are provided their contribution towards shear reinforcement shall not be less than 50 percent okay so these are the main point that you need to keep in mind before detailing all the drawings okay so that's why this video is uh, made the diameter of polygonal links or lateral tiles shall not be less than one by fourth of the diameter of all the pitch of transverse reinforcement shall not be less than least of the following. What is the, the, the three points? The three points are the least lateral dimension, 16 times the smallest diameter, and 300 mm. Simple, the constant. You, I hope you have learned all of this thing in your bachelor degree in uh, RCC design. Okay. For a longitudinal reinforcement bar, the nominal cover shall not be less than 40 mm in any of the case. Okay. So in case of column, a minimum dimension of 200 mm or under, whose reinforcing bar do not uh, exceed 12 mm a nominal cover of 25 mm must have to be used okay this is how the detailing of a uh, beam reinforcement or column reinforcement is done now we are talking about beam we are having uh, incorrect and correct diagrams here okay you can all watch my presentation by downloading and clicking on the link in the description below this is, this is about the continuous beam how the detailing is done okay the sloping beams launch beams the stress, the beams that are meeting at the corner, shear and torsion reinforcement in the beam, how it is going to get uh, detailed. You can get to see from here that the bars need to be uh, labeled separately for uh, torsional reinforcement, uh, for torsion and shear. This is this an cantilever beam with a point low. Okay. And uh, you can all watch out and see how the detailing is done. And this is the design criteria, so detailing criteria for the beam. That is minimum area of steel must have to be 0.85 BD by F5. Same, you have learned this also in RCC in your bachelor's degree. The maximum area of tension reinforcement shall not increase 0.05 BD, where B is width. This is the total depth. Maximum must not have to exceed 0.04 BD. Okay. And where the beam's depth exceeds 750 mm in case of beam without torsion and 450 mm with torsion provide face reinforcement. Okay. The phase reinforcement would be must not have to be less than 0.1% of the web area. Okay. The maximum spacing of shear reinforcement measured along the axis of members shall not exceed 0.75D. These are all the things that you must have to read. I am leaving this uh, on you. Please read all this detailing, uh, uh, detailing facts before going to model and start detailing. These are about the slabs. The slabs must not have uh, the the minimum reinforcement must have to be 0.15 percent. It must not have to be less than this. And uh, in case of mild steel, 0.12 percent, 0.15 percent for mild steel and 0.12 percent for the high deform bar. You can read all the details from here. Okay. And now these are the different types of slabs used in the building. We can use different kind of slabs. And depending on that, the different kind of drawings will be there. This is for the stairs. The detailing will be like this. The uh, red circles are the transverse reinforcement. Uh, sorry, for this beam, these are the longitudinal reinforcement, and the white one are the shear stirrups. You can say, okay, this is how the reinforcement is done. This kind of tables need to be generated wherever possible, okay. 
these are the kind of references or you can say these are the uh, codes in the standard course which we need to use or we need to learn before detailing any structure that is handbook on concrete reinforcement and detailing sp34 then manual of standard practice concrete reinforcing steel institute design principle by a book this is a book ds prakash rao design and construction failure by do that i have tell, told earlier then is 250t code of practice for bending and fixing of bar for concrete frames okay these are other codes that you need to see uh, is 13920 18931 is 4326 is 456 and reinforcement handbook is also there okay so this was all about detailing you need to learn detailing because as an engineer whatever you have designed whatever you are model you need to tell world that how that thing is going to be in real life so you need to detail it you need to detail each and every component of it and it must have to signify that uh, for what purpose it is going to get used and how it is going to get used okay so i hope you get the idea of detailing on the upcoming video we are going to launch csi detail software which is going to generate automatically all the detailing things for us but we can interpret or we can you can say manipulate some of the components in it and how we are going to generate the sheets for detailing in videos i hope you like this video if you have if you have any questions please do uh, leave a comment thank you and do subscribe to my channel